Hi guys, I'm Abhishekta and welcome to my channel Elegance Reloaded. So today I created this classic smoky eyes and guess what? I only used one eyeshadow. Yes, you heard me right. Just one eyeshadow to create this whole classic smoky eyes. So if you guys want to learn how to get this smoky eyes using just one eyeshadow, then please keep on watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will help me a lot. And if you see what you like, then please do like this video. And then without me any further rambling, please keep on watching. Or oh, let's get started. First of all, I will be priming my eyelid with the help of a concealer. This is back spotlight concealer in the shade 04. Then blending that with the help of a concealer brush. This is Nika I'm Bold Kajal. You can take any kajal of your choice and spreading it over the eyelid area near the lash line. Then with the help of a brush, I will be blending this out. You can even use your fingers. You can be pretty rough with this step. Now, I will be taking a dark brown eyeshadow. You can even use a lighter shade of brown. This particular shade is from Wet n Wild palette. Comfort zone, I guess. And I will be putting this shade all over the eyelid area where I have blended the kajal. Now, I will be taking a clean, tapered blending brush, as you can see, and blending off the edges. Now, taking the same dark brown eyeshadow in the same brush and taking off the excess, I will be blending the edges again. What this will do is create dimension of the same shade. And blend, 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 blend. <laughs> now to create more dimension to the look, I will be using a loose powder. You can even use a compact powder of your choice this one is from Maybelline fit me in the shade I guess light medium 20 taking that in the same brush and I will be blending the edges as you can see taking the dark brown shade again I will be deepening the eyelid area and blending the same with the same brush as you can see Any smoky eyes blending is the key, whether you are using several shades or one shade. Just blend, blend, blend and blend. Now to give final touch to the eyeshadow, I will be using a clean fluffy brush to blend out any harsh edges which may be left behind. And now coming to my face, I will be completing the eyes later on. I'm using Wet n Wild Primer Serum. This one is from I think the Rose Collection, which they recently launched in India. This is a beautiful serum which gives a very pretty glow to the face. I will be spreading it out all over my face, as you can see. Then taking Maybelline Master Prime in the variant Smooth and Blur in my problematic area that is beside my nose. I will be spreading that in, those, in that area only. As you can see, having fancy in this step. Now, taking my favorite foundation, which is from L'Oreal. This is L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear in the shade Golden Peach 140. Just dotting this all over my face. You can use any foundation of your choice. Now I'm blending this away with the help of a brush, like you can see. Now I will be using a sponge to pick up any extra product from my face. This again ensures seamlessness. Now I'm using a concealer is a shade or two lighter than my skin tone this is l'oreal true match concealer in the shade 3dw i guess now putting this in my usual areas where i want to highlight like under my eyes bridge of my nose cupid bow, chin and blending that away again with the help of a concealer brush 
this. I got particularly this a very sheer finish. So I like using a brush rather than a sponge. Now I will be using a loose powder. This one is from Bharat and Doris in the shade Fair I guess. And I will be setting my under eyes area and area around my mouth. I do not set all over my face because I have dry skin and I do not prefer that look in my face particularly. Then I will be using the same kajal. I lost the footage sorry but I just used a pencil brush to blend away the kajal with the help of the brown eyeshadow and that is what I did. Now I am using Nika Sizzle Chisel Contour Duo to contour my nose. Guys, you need to use this brush. This is from Makeup Revolution. This is dual ended and this brush is magical. I'm, I just blended out my nose contour. Now I'm contouring my cheekbones. Sorry, this is hollow of your cheekbones. <laughs> and the usual area. I love contouring. It gives such a beautiful structure to your face. I cannot get over that. After this, I will be highlighting my cheekbones. This is Maybelline Mastercom Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. Now I am taking a blush. This is from Sugar in the shade Coral Climax. I like to use blushes after my highlight because it gives a more beautiful finish to the face. I think the finish is more seamless and more blended. Now I'm curling my lashes and I will be using my favorite mascara which is from L'Oreal which is Lash Paradise. As you can see, nothing fancy. Now you can always use false lashes if you wish but I did not. Now taking the same highlighter, I will be highlighting my brow bone area as you can see. This gives a more cleaner look to the face, to the eyes. As you can see, I'm just highlighting and blending and highlighting again. I love highlighter. Who doesn't? Now I'm just highlighting the bridge of my nose and this police vehicle. I don't know what happened in my area. Sorry for that. I'm highlighting my cupid's bow and above my eyebrows because I love that. You don't have to do that. Now putting on my lipstick, liquid lipstick. This is from Pack Retro Matte Lip Gloss. And I forgot the shade. I think it is need something. Now this is the this is the favorite step you can say my makeup routine this is milani prime set and glow all over finishing powder i guess and it will it gives a beautiful finish to the face this gives a awful oh, what did i say <laughs> all over glow to the face now i'm using nika ultra matte lipstick in the shade merlin and layering that with the same liquid lipstick that i used just creating my own custom shade and the look is finished Thank you for watching guys so if you like this look and if you want to recreate this look then please do and if you like it then please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button do not forget to share it with your friends and i will be seeing in my next video thank you bye, -bye.